Friends and comrades, today is the International Women's Day. Let me share a story with you, a story from Latin America. A poor mother was a bit worried about two of her children, a boy and a girl, who were demanding food. She was trying to cook something, but while she was thinking about the food, how to organize it, she wanted to divert the attention of the children who were really pestering her for the food. She gave them a world map after tearing it into a few pieces. She thought it will take a while for the children to reconnect the map. But only after a few seconds, to her surprise, her daughter brought the map back. The mother was surprised and she said, how did you do it? You haven't uh, studied geography. You haven't uh, gone to um, higher classes. How could you do it so soon? The daughter said, mom, it is quite simple. There was a photograph of a working woman at the back of the world map. I reconnected the working woman and the world map fell into places and that was reconnected. The moral of the story is that the working women figuratively are holding the world. So that is the strength of the women around the world who constitute 50% of the population, nearly 50%. The theme of this year's celebration is gender equality for a sustainable future. We all know the history of uh, International Women's Day. In 1908, the women participated very actively in the labor struggle. And in 1975, this day was declared as the International Women's Day. So to sustain the world, to maintain sustainable development, gender equality is a prerequisite. In her message, the executive director of the UN women body said that women can not only address the sustainable goal number five, but they can perhaps deal with all the 17 SDGs leading up to 2030. And this year sub themes are building an inclusive society, building an equal world and uh, promoting gender equality in all its dimension. But it is easier said than done. Women have been treated as inferior across the world. I'm not tired of repeating this. In Britain, which is considered to be the mother of democracies, the flame of democracy was lit way back centuries ago in 1215 with the signing of Magna Carta. But the women got right to full franchise, right to vote only in 1929, almost 700 years later. That is the story in most so-called developed democracies across Western Europe. Women got right to vote and the full political right as men only in 20th century. Luckily, as it happened, India began with a universal adult franchise where one person, one vote was written into the constitution and citizens had the rights equally allocated irrespective of caste, creed, religion, gender and so on. But that was the constitution on the ground and it is a common knowledge that women have suffered in very many ways owing to social, political, and economic inequality under a patriarchal culture. So the women empowerment, which has been a national objective, as well as the mission of many non-state actors. But I must say there has been quite a bit of confusion, clutter in the concept of empowerment. Who is empowering who? How is the question which has not been addressed effectively by the practitioners as well as women rights advocates. However, this is not the time to wreck that debate. It is a day of celebration and it is day to imbibe the spirit of equality 
between men and women and as a man it is my pleasure to express my solidarity with the women their movements in india and beyond who are fighting for the emancipation of women and for bringing them on par with men i have written about it in my latest article is uh, about women's political equality and i have called it inching towards political equality in india the article has been published in a book called uh, five decades of women empowerment written by 11 people 10 of them have been active and prominent in uh, women's activities in various positions all of them incidentally are women except myself and they were kind enough to invite a man also to contribute to the analysis of the efforts at women empowerment for last 5 decades that book is available in amazon and also in the market edited by late uh, mrs kamla nath so that's a book i thought i should refer to you today as a backgrounder to any action or conceptualization to women empowerment i wish once again all the mothers and sisters and girl children across the world happiness peace and prosperity may they enjoy equal opportunity rewards and privileges as men anywhere in the world that is my fervent and a passionate wish and the men should be conscious and contribute to gender equality it is between men and women so both of them should be equally conscious and responsible for gender equality in india and across the world thank you